Hey, it's Neil, and this is a quick video tutorial on using transparent video for web. So for starters, I went to VidEasy, which is a stock video site, and downloaded this spinning golf ball. Uh, and we're going to use this for the demo. So naturally, the first thing I want to do is remove that background and After Effects and prepare my asset for export. So there are lots of ways to key out a background in After Effects, but because this shape is so simple for the demo, I just applied a shape mask and a, a grayscale filter as well to get rid of that blue glow. Then I cropped it to 800 by 800 and a three second clip, make it a nice and easy, and then I'm gonna go ahead and export this. The next thing I wanna do is export this with a transparent background. So I sent the file over to uh, Media Encoder, and I'm going to select QuickTime MOV. Then I want to make sure we have that alpha channel in the background, so I'm going to select Apple ProRes 4444 with alpha. Okay, my video does not have any audio, and then I'm going to match source on the dimensions. That's 800 by 800. I like to use maximum render quality, and then let's hit OK. All right, now that that's exported, let's just make sure our MOV actually looks good. I can see the little background blur that uh, Finder or Preview is doing on that transparent background, so that looks good to me. And at this point, we have two files. We have the original file and this cropped black and white export with the transparent background. All right, so we have our MOV. I ran it through Media Encoder again and exported an MP4, aka H.264. And now we're ready for web. So if I come over here, I just set up a basic skeleton file, and what that's doing is playing our MP4. Now you notice a black background because MP4 doesn't support alpha or transparency. The reason I'm not using the MOV is because Chrome won't let you play an MOV. So if I try replacing that with MOV, give that a refresh, you'll notice that nothing plays. Okay, so to solve the problem, we need a video format that is an MOV that allows for transparency, and that's where WebM comes in. So as a quick check, I can head over to caniuse.com, and I'm looking at browser support for WebM. So if you look at Edge, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, all of these green boxes means that it has good support for WebM. If you look at Safari on a desktop, as well as Safari on iOS, partial support not really supported. So for Safari, we're going to need something else, and that's where HEVC comes in. HEVC is sort of like a modifier on MOV. So Edge, Firefox, Chrome, etc. don't support HEVC, but Safari does. So let's get those conversions running. All right, so here's where things get a little bit nuanced. Typically, I would use a website like Cloud Convert to convert that MOV to a WebM. But when I do that, you can see that the black background is still there, meaning the transparency failed to convert. So rather than using Media Encoder, Cloud Convert, or a tool that you would typically use, we have to use a tool called Shutter Encoder. Okay, This is a tool that I found deep in a Reddit thread that basically lets you convert from MOV to WebM while enabling that alpha channel. So in the advanced features over here, we want to make sure Enable Alpha Channel is selected. VP9 is the code for WebM, and I'll just hit Start Function. All right, so the WebM conversion finished, and as we can see, it worked. The background is transparent. We can also test that out by changing the body background to something like red, and uh, it works perfectly. So I'm in Chrome right now, and if I try uh, opening up localhost in Safari, you can see it did not work, and that's because, as we know, WebM is not supported. So we're going to need that HEVC file. All right, so the good news is HEVC conversion is super simple. You can do it right in Finder. So I'm going to start with my MOV file, and I just hit Encode Selected Video Files. I want to se select HEVC here, and I want to make sure I click Preserve Transparency, the checkbox there. All right, so my HEVC conversion finished, and now I'm going to want to include that source Inside the video tag, no conditional logic needed or anything like that. Basically, the browsers will automatically check for file compatibility. So for Chrome, HEVC.MOV is not compatible, so it'll render the WebM, and Safari will render the HEVC. 
All right, so it looks good in Chrome and looks good in Safari as well. All right, so there are two more things that we want before we're done, and those are fallbacks. The first is a GIF fallback, and the second is a static PNG fallback. So I imported my video into Photoshop and created a frame animation, and now I'm going to save this as a GIF. I'm also going to quick export as a PNG. All right, so we've got our GIF and our PNG as fallbacks to the video files. And what I just did is ran both of them through ImageOptim, which is a lossless compression. So we're going to save a little bit of file size there. So at this point, we've got a GIF, an HEVC, an MOV, an MP4, which does not have a transparent background, a PNG, and a WebM. So putting it all together in application, I wrote some quick CSS to change the background color automatically, and our video still looks great in the foreground.